So I've had a lot of students ask in the Q&A, you showed us some techniques that work on Windows XP, but will these same techniques work in Windows 7 or above? Well, yes, they will. Now, the particular exploit that we used, the Microsoft 08 TAC 067 Natopi vulnerability, was very specifically geared towards Windows XP and Windows 2003, and it would work on some Windows 7 systems if they weren't patched against that vulnerability. Now, that particular example, there isn't a whole lot like that when you start getting into the newer operating systems like 7, 8, and 10, because Microsoft has done a much better job of patching those type of vulnerabilities. Most of the exploits you're gonna find inside Windows 7, 8, and 10 are gonna be things that require some degree of social engineering, whether that is something that requires a user to click on a link to go to a particular website, to open a particular file that has viruses or trojans embedded that might give you some access, or anything else of that nature. Now, there was one that was recently uh, released a couple of weeks ago that is referred to as the Eternal Blue. So Eternal Blue came from a leak of documents and tool sets that this hacking group called Shadow Broker had found. And part of those leaks, somebody had taken the code and there's an SMB vulnerability, very similar to what we did in the Windows XP stuff, uh, and they actually turned that into a ransomware called WannaCry that has really made headlines. Well, this particular vulnerability that we're gonna use is actually called Microsoft 17 TAC 010 Eternal Blue. And we're gonna use that here on a Windows 7 machine now, Metasploit does have the ability to do this. You have to download the latest version of Metasploit by updating it. And if you're not sure how to do that, just Google how to update my Metasploit. And you'll be able to connect your Metasploit terminal to the internet and download those latest um, patches. This one actually came out only four days ago. And so this is uh, May of 2017 when I'm filming this. And this is a brand new exploit that we're gonna be using. Now, when we go into the next video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how this is gonna work how we're gonna set this up inside Kali Linux. It's gonna look very similar to what we did with our Windows XP stuff, except that we're gonna be attacking a Windows 7, um, ser and the, the ones that are vulnerable are Windows 7 and Windows 2008 server, and they have to be 64-bit version. There is a, a version of this that people are in development for for Windows 8 and Windows 10, but they're not released just yet. But again, these same techniques work all the time. If you just start doing some Googling, you'll figure out what are the latest exploits and what the newest things are out there. I'll see you in the lab in the next video.